The last video in the playlist derived a theorem that showed that A or A and B can be minimised to A. Now we can use this theorem to derive another theorem which is shown below and that is that A or not A and B can be minimised to A or B. We can see that A can be written as A or A and B which means we can come down here and replace this A with A or A and B and then just write this term down here. Now we can see the B is in common to both of those min terms so we can take the B outside of the brackets as shown here due to the distributive law. An axiom tells us that this can be replaced by a 1. Consequently we have A or B and it with the 1. Now another axiom will tell us that B and it with the 1 in fact is B. Consequently this will become A or B. Therefore we can show that A or with the not A and B can minimise to A or B. Let's look at another example. We can replace the A by A or A and B and then write the other min terms down as you can see here. Then we can say let's take the A and write it down and then the B is common to the next two so we'll take the B outside of the brackets and we can see in the brackets we have A or not A. Therefore that becomes A or B and 1. Then we write the others down. Then that becomes A or B or not A and C or not A and D. Now it's the case that we can have A being equal to A or A and C. Therefore I can replace the A with the A or A or C and then just write the remaining um, terms down. What we can now see is that the C's are common here so I can bring the C's outside of the brackets and put inside what we have is the A or the not A and then write the others down. Now of course the A and the not A becomes a 1 and then we write the other terms down and of course C and 1 is C and then again we write the other terms down as we can see there. Now it is also possible to write A as A odd with A and D. Now we, what we'll do, we'll come down here, we'll write out the C, but we'll replace the A with A or A and D. And then write the others down. And then we can see we have the D's in common, and we're going to bring those outside of the brackets, leaving inside A or not A. And then we'll write the others down. Now of course we know A or not A gives us a 1. And then we'll or those now as we can see. And then we're left with D or C or A or B. And we can rewrite that because of the commutative laws as follows. Now this process has allowed us to show that this in fact can minimise to this here. So they are one and the same. Now we've just shown that this is the same as A or B or C or D. Now a shortcut memory aid is possible to enable us to do this. Let's look at the expression again. Here we can see we have A and it's by itself and then if we look at the other min terms we can see here that that's not A which is the opposite of the term by itself. Likewise this and this. So when you have a variable by itself it's capable of knocking out its opposite leaving us with A or B or C or D. In this example we can see A by itself so it'll knock out the not A's in those min terms leaving us with A or B and C or B and not C or not B and not C. In this example we can see not B's by itself so it's capable of knocking those two out and that will then give us the not B or with the A C or with the A C or with the C. Now this will minimise further but we're just looking at what the not B will do at the moment. For this example we can see we've got not A by itself so it'll knock 
those two out. And that will then leave us with BC or with the not A or with the C. Now we have C by itself. Remembering previous work, that should remind us they can knock all of that out. So that gives us not A or C.